Hi guys, it's a Bray. Today I have a collective haul from, I have one thing from Amazon, two things from Walmart, some stuff from Michaels, a Dollar Tree haul, and another Real Deals haul. Um, so a lot of this stuff is going to be for products for my Etsy shop. Um, I was going to do an independent website, but I decided from a tax standpoint, just going back to Etsy was so much simpler for me. Plus I already have an established shop there. So I won't have to redo all of the listings of things I'm going to bring back from my old shop. Um, but that shop is going to include, um, junk journaling kits. Um, there's going to be like a paper type kit and a confetti mix kit. So a lot of what you're going to see is for that. And I used to, my, my Etsy shop used to be all, um, banners and signs and party supplies and mostly paper centric stuff. Um, and I kind of given that up along the way. I no longer had a good source for readily available paper and, um, all of our craft stores had left and it was just easier for me to pick stuff up as needed than order in bulk online. Um, but now I have a Michael's back, so I can figure out what paper from there is going to work. I may have to revamp some of my sizing when I go to cut products, but, um, but I did decide I want to leave some of that stuff available. So, um, like I said, most of this stuff is for junk journaling kits of two styles. So first I'm just going to do Walmart because it was just two things. I needed some tape runners and I needed some craft paper because I'm going to put my pillow boxes, my empty pillow boxes back up on my Etsy. I always sold tons of those and... I either use a tape runner or a zig glue pen to seal them shut. So that is what that is for, strictly for that. Um, and then I have one thing in a package from Amazon. Don't use your teeth. I don't want to rip the package too much or cut it because I don't know exactly where this item is in here. But I was watching a TikTok live of another YouTuber who, um, another tumbler maker, and she was talking about measuring cups and how difficult it can be at times. She's brilliant. <laughs> um, she uses, and I've never seen anybody use one before for this purpose, she uses a baby head measuring tape, and apparently there's three of them in this package. So that's cool. I thought there was one, but it goes somehow, somehow. It wraps around snug. Um, let me grab a tumbler. So you can just put it around your cup and cinch it up tight. And it will give you a perfect around measurement. Brilliant. Because a lot of the time, if you measure with any other kind of tape measure, you've got the end flapping around or it's overlapping and creating extra space so you don't quite get an exact measurement unless you're using some kind of calipers. I thought it was brilliant. So that was my big Amazon purchase. And then from Michael's, a very boring purchase. Um, I needed just some black Oracle 651 and I needed matte and glossy. So Yes, I know I overpaid at Michael's, but I didn't want to put in a big vinyl order because I don't need vinyl other than black. I have Cricut vinyl, which is fine. I have a big roll of black, which is fine for tumblers generally, but 
I needed something that would stick well to a wood sign and I did not want Cricut vinyl for that purpose. And their Recollections paper packs are buy one get one half off right now. So again, towards the Etsy shop, I got just a pack of baby pink and a pack of the powder blue. Uh, it's called Tea Party and Sky Blue, but I needed the pastels. And then I needed like an aqua and a hot pink. Um, these are the core colors for my what used to be my most popular um, banners signs. So and then I needed a navy. And what I really needed was a pastel pack, but they don't have the exact color pack that I need for a pastel. I need the blue, the green, the pink, and the purple. This has a hot pink in it instead of a pastel yellow. So hopefully I have enough pastel yellow on my shelf to do what I need. But that is what I bought from Michaels. I bought the eight and a half by 11 because I should be able to twist and turn the letters for each sign to fit on one sheet. Um, hopefully because I didn't want to get the 12 by 12 packs and they didn't actually have them in the right sizes and open stock paper is like insane right now. So I'm going to do real deals next. Um, you're going to see me use a lot of paper bags and recyclable bags in hauls because New York is a no plastic bag state now. We have been for a while. So, but this is from Real Deals, which if you missed the last Real Deals haul, that is a local dollar store. Um, they get a lot of store clearance, closeout type stuff in bulk and distribute it to their stores and resell it from there. So, um, these you saw in the last haul, but I did pick up more for my kids. And I picked up one of the black sets for myself. This is a Project Life kit. It has 119 pieces in it, but this was the like black one because I didn't, they didn't have these when I bought the other two for myself. So I got a second black one for the junk journal kits. And then I got another one of each of these two. This one's a mink one from Heidi Swap. This one's only 30 pieces but I like the color scheme of this one. So I picked up a second one of those and this is another Project Life kit that has 130 pieces in it. So that is that. I picked up some Fiskars products. Um, I don't really know where all this closeout came from. They could very well have come from our AC Moore when they closed down for good because they were starting to do all their clearance and stuff and then COVID hit and they just disappeared. So this could very well be AC Moore clearance. But I got another corner rounder. Um, I kind of like to check the prices on some of the stuff on Etsy and eBay and whatnot. But that's a story for another time. And then I got a Fiskars Two Easy Lift Stamp Block set. They've got little handles to lift it off your paper. And I bought a Fiskars stamp positioner. It helps you line up where you're going to put your stamp on the edge of your paper. And then um, it shows I'm using it with the easy lift stamps. So that was that. And then the rest of this is more junk journaling things. I got red, green, and blue, just basic tickets to put in the junk journaling kits. I bought another set of these cards that we looked at last time. I really decided I loved the color of the envelopes on these ones. And the cards themselves were pretty, so I'll just show them again real quick because we spent a little bit of time on these last time. And there were three of each of the four styles. So that was that boxed set. 
just because I thought they were different and unique and I really liked them so I wanted to buy another round. And then I bought this set of note cards. I believe they're all the same. And there are 15 cards and 15 envelopes. But it says... Craft envelopes. The back of these are a little bit more... Um, more detailed, but they'll still be coverable. Um, they do open this way, though. So they might be a little awkward in a junk journal, depending on how you used it, but still usable. But it says, follow your arrow wherever it points. Now, the yellow and the white are kind of hard to read, and it is glittered. I just thought it was cute. I mean, you could actually cover up all the writing with other stuff. And the inside of the card has this little feather and arrows, which I thought was cute. And then the back has two feathers, so you could just cover up the writing with washi or whatever. But, and I like that it was 15 of them for $1.25. That was a really good deal. So... In my last haul, I had actually picked these up and then never, they disappeared. So, um, not these. But these are just smaller binder clips to put in the confetti mix I'm going to do. I love using binder clips with junk journals, so. But these two items I'd had in my hand and must be when I set my stuff down to look at the note cards and stuff, I didn't pick them back up. But it's a really cute set of blue binder clips. These are the small, small size. And I really like the colors of these paper clips because they're another thing you use a lot in junk journals, whether you tie a little ribbon to them or whatever. But that was everything from That Real Deals. Um, and next, I'll do Dollar Tree. Um, when my last two orders that are out come in, that's when I'm going to start putting my kits together. And I will definitely make sure I come in and record everything I'm doing for the kits. And then they'll go on my Etsy shop because that'll be up and running at that point too. And you can purchase them there. And these are not for junk journaling, but I've been seeing these in people's hauls and I really wanted to get my hands on a set. Um, they didn't have the two different ones. They only had this one. But that's fine because at first I didn't think I was going to find them at all. But I have a project I want to try with these. And I figured if I screw one up, I'll have a second chance. So I grabbed two. Um, I picked up this little set of beads to go in the confetti. The black, the pink, and the white. Um, I think they might have had like a really bright set. But I didn't really care for them. So... That was the set I picked up. I picked up two sets of these little mini glass jars. Um, so I'll only have 12 of these in the confetti, so somebody very lucky will get them. I'm going to fill them with either glitter or seaweeds or something, sequins, um, whatever I find, and put a little eye pin in the top so that people can put them um, as like part of their tassel on the edge of their junk journal. Um, so again, there's only going to be 12 of those in there, but I'm going to fill them and seal them shut and put a head pin in the top so they'll be able to hang. I also picked up this big set of beads. These ones are bigger, but there's only 60 of them in here, but it was a slightly different color palette. Again, I'm pretty sure there was more, but I didn't like it, so. And I picked up some note cards. There's more in here somewhere. These are only six per pack, but they should all be completely blank. So I picked up these floral ones. These really cute rainbow ones. I picked up some, like, coppery colored rose gold binder clips. 
can I pick up these kind of cute pom-poms? Um, these can get sewn into tassels as well. So, I just thought these were neat looking. Different than your standard yarn ones. There's another pack in here somewhere. I picked up some of the little tiny baby clothes pins. Um, these ones are small enough you can clip them right to a page and stick stuff to it. I picked up a pack of buttons for the confetti. I didn't really need buttons because I have enough here, but... And I picked up this set of note cards. Um, I already have this pack. I've been using them in my own journals. And I think they're beautiful. And I picked up this pack. Which I don't, I, I don't think any of these note cards are new, but they didn't have them. Um, the rainbow one might be new. But maybe these are all new. Because they definitely didn't have these last time I bought note cards for junk journaling. And I picked up a pack of labels. Um, it says there's 40 pieces in here, so probably 10 sheets or so. Mm, probably not 10, because I think there's six, five or six labels on the sheet, but whatever. I picked up some big faux pearls, um, again, to go in the mix. I picked up a string of the uh, white square farmhouse beads to go in the mix. And I picked up some... Um, more of the primary colored paper clips. And last is the other color of the pom pom mix. So, um, yeah, I didn't really have a lot of time and I just kind of ran around the store quick. But once my last team orders come in and I get through some of my personal stuff that's also going in the confetti mix, it's kind of a de stash of sorts. Um, and then I'll come on and we'll mix the stuff up and we'll package it. And I think it'll be cute. Um, there's definitely not going to be a color theme or anything to the confetti mix, at least the first time around. There may be down the road. I do have actual tassels coming. Um, and I'm going to make sure each mix, each, I'm going to make sure each scoop of the mix gets at least one tassel. Um. Because, like I said, if you're doing tassels on your binders or whatever, junk journals, not binders, um, you'll probably want those. So, that was everything from my collective haul. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.